Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships with Wadres and for today's video I'm doing something that I haven't done in quite some time and that is a Midway replay. Now Midway has received a few notable buffs and nerfs over the last few months. Uh, one of which being that her torpedo bombers have actually gotten a damage bonus. So that's actually a nice quality of life improvement and it makes for somewhat easier battles. But that's really not why I'm posting this video much at all. I'm posting this video because this was a match that I was running late last night, like almost 4 a.m. And uh, it was it was my last match of the night and it just turned out to be well, not stellar, but very, very interesting, to say the least. First off, we come into this Yu Yang, and this is actually what I was actually in here for, because I was working on my clan's naval battles attempts, and, well, this week it's based on ribbon hits, so just trying to get... I mean, this was the first run for the midway, so I just wanted to get as many ribbon ribbons in as I could, as quickly as possible and well I basically got just about all of them in just two runs on this Yu Yang and I'm gonna get a few more here with one more rocket attack I think that was like eight hits that's actually more than what I what I needed for the naval attempt so I'm very very happy now at this point anything as far as I'm concerned for the ribbon hits is gravy but you'll notice that the direction that I'm going in is, um, not exactly the most advisable. Yes, I actually have my autopilot set to go through A and around, kind of get myself as close to the enemy aircraft carrier as I possibly can. The downside with that is, while I've done away with the Yua Yang, there's a Yamato right there! <laughs> and I'm headed basically right for it. So... At this point in my mind, I'm kind of saying, uh, okay, let's see what we can do if we can kill this Yamato quickly. Um, maybe the Yua Yang will do something about it. It's kind of right there. Um, <clears throat> spoiler alert. Yeah, not working out. <laughs> that, that, I, I don't care who you are. That just plain hurt. Friendly, enemy, whatever. That yam just obliterated it with one main battery salvo, so, yeah, Could be worse. And I'm not exactly doing too shabby either, actually dropping torpedoes on it. I mean, I've gotten five hits on one run, there's four hits for the second run, and a flood. Unfortunately, it's just one flood, and it does, I believe, actually no, it does tick for a while because I believe the Yu Yang actually had it set on fire for a short period. So there's one saving grace. It has actually slowed down and going to flood out a little bit. The downside is it's still getting closer and it now has basically clear line of sight on me. And you can kind of see my thought process there. It was like, okay, maybe if I turn that way, nope, I've got an island right there. So I'm stuck. Not only am I stuck, there's a enemy Grozovoy coming in on the side as well now. So, at this point, I'm literally like, oh, oh, okay, I need to kill this Yamato. This Yamato needs to die, like, now. Anybody, anybody who can help me. Bueller, hey Montana, want to help me? Nope, you're on the other side of the island. So, literally, I'm on my own against this <laughs> Yamato. And the Montana, which is a friendly bot, I might add, is really only focused on the Yu Yang right in front of it. So, again, I am literally on my own against this Yamato, which is basically staring right at me. So, I'm literally just... Uh, okay, I need to just get ordnance on target as quickly and accurately as possible. There's another hit. And it's not dead yet. It's burning, but it's healing back what it's burning. <laughs> One last run. Come on. Let's see if we can do it this run. And... Okay. There we go. Hooray. I'm alive. That's all I need. Okay. Now, 
on one hand, we've dealt with everything on this side of the map. On the other hand, everything on this side of the map has been dealt with. The only other thing is a battleship at uh, B point, and that's not exactly going to last very long. So I decide, you know what, I'm going to go for this Hakuryu. How could you do this to me? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, that was bad. <clears throat> but here's one thing that goes to show that I'm not exactly a, well, again, I'm not a stellar CV player, but I'm not a bad CV player either. I'm looking at what the enemy Hakuryu is doing as far as its position, where it's turning, and I'm actually setting up to make sure that when this drop hits or connects, it's going to be right where... That, that CV is going to be right where I want it. I'm not just dropping my torpedoes randomly here. I'm literally aiming each... I, I, well, not each individual torpedo, but I'm setting it up to make sure that they're going where I want them, that I'm getting the most effect here. Now, unfortunately, what really makes this difficult is the fact that... I really only get in one good run, most cases, on a enemy aircraft carrier before I have to send out a new squadron because apparently, according to Wargaming, aircraft carriers are fucking no-fly zones. I, I, I'm sorry, I really probably shouldn't put it that way, but they are. And that just makes dealing with them as an enemy, as a CV, that much more frustrating. And, I mean, to a point, I can understand why. I mean, aircraft versus aircraft, they kind of balance each other out, cancel each other out, whatever. But from a combat perspective, if, say, it were just me and the Sakuryu left, it would be so extremely frustrating having to deal with this because I have... The Hakuryu basically can do very little against me, and I can do almost as much against the Hakuryu. I mean, again, I literally get one attack run out of each squadron before all of my aircraft are shot down. And, I mean, at lower tiers where the resupply time isn't so bad, it's one thing. But at tier 10, where you have, I think, upwards of a minute and a half almost, resupply time on some of your aircraft, it can be pretty bad. But anyway, this match finishes out, and it's not too bad. 142,505 damage done, 21 torpedo hits, 13 bomb hits, 12 aircraft shot down, 1 shot down by fighter, 4 incapacitations, 1 kill, 6 fires, 2 floods, 2 defense ribbons, 23 secondary battery hits on the Yamato, 29 rocket hits, and even 4 spottings. 187,413 credits earned, 2,825 EXP earned, and 178 free EXP. Now, for all of that work, you would think I actually got a reasonably a reasonable position in the team score. Yeah, well, um, that's not... Just that that's not happening. 552 base EXP for all of that work that I did, basically saving my own ass. Killed a Yamato entirely on my own, did the majority of the damage to the Hakuryu and the Yuayang, and the Montana on the other side of the map. Granted, he was on the other side of the map. I don't know how much he did, but... Yeah, all of that work that I put in doing damage to enemy ships and I barely get fifth place on the team hardly seems worth it. And, I mean, you can see all of the, everything that I put into this Yamato here, too. I mean, 12 bombs, 13 torpedoes, 23 HE shells three fires and one flood. I mean, I, I worked that yam over pretty damn well. The Hakuryu even, I got a fire there. I got, well, I scored one flood for no damage. But I mean, I did a good bit of work there as far as I'm concerned. And of course that Yu Yang, 
which I, again, mostly killed before the friendly Yamata, or the friendly Montana took it out. So, I uh, can't help but feel just a little bit disappointed, at least, with the CV economy again, but that's always going to be the case in my part. And just to give you an idea of just how things, how close things got, I did tank a potential of 240,000 damage, and ship absorbed a direct 20,000, 26,000 points worth of damage, actually. So, yeah, I got a little close for comfort there. And if that Yam had even looked at me wrong just once, I probably wouldn't have even finished this match out. And even just the number of aircraft lost, most of that was due to the enemy aircraft carrier. Overall takeaway from the match was 84,163 credits, 2,825 EXP, and Commander also walked away from the match with 2,963 EXP, and all of this was without any major bonuses, aside from just the daily first battle bonus for the ship. So overall, not bad. Again, just kind of a little let down by the CV economy. But anyway, on that note, that is the fun I had last night in my midway at tier 10. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you've seen. And I hope to uh, catch you all again next time around. Have a good one. Happy hunting, folks. Y'all take care out there.